Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean and today I'm going to show you how to time the execution of your PHP scripts. This is helpful when debugging your code and testing the overall speed of your page. We do this with a handy PHP function called microtime. And here's how it works. If I simply echo microtime and look at this on the page, I'm going to see a float value and then an integer value. The secondary value over here is nothing more than the Unix timestamp. Uh, the value on the left is the uh, microseconds between each second of the Unix timestamp. So if I refresh my page over and over, you'll see this number over here uh, refreshing once a second. But this number here is counting the millionth of a second uh, between each second, okay? Um, we can't really use this because it's not formatted correctly. However, if we change micro time to true, then it essentially flips those numbers around. So now we're looking at the Unix timestamp with the millionth microsecond uh, following it. Okay, so here's how this would work. If I create a variable, we'll just call it start, that's gonna equal micro time. And then after that, we're going to do something. And then we'll just create another variable called end and make this a microsecond as well. So let's just say we had uh, a for loop. So x is going to equal zero, x is less than or equal to 100 million, and then x plus plus. All right, so in here we would have something happening. All right, so to calculate this, uh, all we, we would have to do is echo end minus the start. And let's take a look at that. All right, so that took 1.3 however many seconds to, to generate uh, this script. Uh, to make this a little more user-friendly and readable, we can simply round this, and we'll just round it to two decimal places, and we'll just concatenate this and say seconds. So it takes 1.38 seconds uh, to race to 100 million. It gives you kind of an idea on how fast uh, computers really work and how fast you can execute code. Uh, likewise, let's just say I want to query my database. Uh, so I'll include my database connection, so db.inc.php, and this is from another page, just a simple PDO connection. Say stmt equals db query, and I'm just going to select all from the inventory list of that database. And I'm also going to echo the uh, row, let's see, TMT row counts. I believe there are 1,222 records, but we'll see. All right, so now if I refresh this again, we can see that it queried 1,222 records from local host uh, in 0 0.01 seconds. So this is a neat little function that PHP provides that will allow you to generate the execution time for your code. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you on the next one.